I had to fight a little bit on that one to keep it. Hello, so my crossfoot spin video was quite popular and I've been working on my crossfoot like I always do and I have several more tips that I can give you to help you with this spin if you want to add it to your repertoire. It's a low energy spin but it requires a lot of skill to do it well. So it's kind of a good good uh, feature to put in uh, a uh, combination spin for example because it's not going to drain your energy that much. It's not going to make you that dizzy, uh, but it's going to be a, a feature for the purposes of increasing your level of difficulty. Uh, so I, I noticed from watching a, a performance that somebody posted of mine from an old show that I did several years ago, maybe almost a decade ago, that I I did a very nice crossfoot. It spun very well, but I had my head forward, so it wasn't that attractive. And so ideally, I would like to have my head in a better postural position to do a good crossfoot. Uh, that's one thing. So if I'm going to go into a crossfoot spin, I'm going to try to have the best posture that I can have. A good athletic position, strengthen the core, head not too far forward, arms nice and wide. I'm going to try to do the best chalk tie I can. I'm going to try to step with my feet beside each other on the chalk tie. So in other words, not stepping here and not pushing into the spin, but just changing weight like this. I found that this is going to set up the best spin. No matter what the spin is, it doesn't have to be a cross foot. So, yeah, so let me see how I can do with this. Good posture and good chalk a little bit on the wobbly side, relaxing the arms totally and going into the spin. Nice and tight in the legs. I had to fight a little bit on that one to keep it centered. Uh, yeah, so five points. Good posture leading in. Strengthen the core. This arm relax method really does help with the crossfoot or any upright spin that you want to uh, increase your speed on and spin very quickly. Back spin, scratch spin, whatever. So. Yeah, as soon as I get into the spin, I totally relax the arms. Get rid of all tension in the arms and then centrifugal force pulls the arms out uh, in opposition to one another. And then from there, if I've got good balance and it's well centered, then I just pull the arms in and let it spin. Yeah, let me see if I can do this a little bit better this time. So as I go into the spin, I'm trying for good posture and steadiness. I want to do a really good chalk tie. I want to try not to wobble. I want to be nice and smooth into the spin. Get a nice center. Relax the arms into the cross foot position. Very, very difficult to center this spin. So that spin traveled. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to do a little better, actually. You know, I could feel on my edge leading in. It, it wasn't, kind of lost my balance a little bit here. I'm gonna try to do this again for you. And then I, I thought about like, uh, crossfoot is one of my sort of signature moves. I have maybe the best crossfoot in the world <laughs> maybe challenge me on this there are some other good ones out there i know but i my coach sheldon galbraith was instrumental in getting the crossfoot back into the figure skating repertoire back in the 70s when the short program 
was introduced and uh, CrossFit was a requirement in the short program in some years. And so Sheldon Galbraith taught me how to do a CrossFit at that time. What is it, 50 years ago? And I practiced it and kept my repertoire since then. So I've had a real head start on anybody else who's trying to do a good CrossFit spin. So it should be pretty good by now based on how much time and practice I've spent on it. But the, the flaw that I have with my CrossFit that, uh, that makes it easier for me to, to set it up well, but that really isn't as figure skating pure, is that I go, I, put, I go on two feet and then cross. I would prefer, I think it would be sort of better technique if I could just set my foot down in the right position like that way <laughs> which I did there <laughs> it was okay traveled a little bit if this spin doesn't travel if if it's right like, perfectly centered oh it's a long spin it's so quiet it is hardly any friction at all and if I don't have to fight to keep it in one place it's really a uh, a joy to perform and it excites people who see it as well. <laughs> so just to recap, I'm going to do one last cross foot spin here for you if I can. See if I, how good I can do on this. Good posture, nice and steady, good chalk taw. Into the spin, relax the arms, try to set that down on one foot. Lots of noise and grinding, having to fight. Yeah, I'm not totally satisfied with that. But I mostly wanted to teach you and not just impress you with this crossfoot spin and give you a few things that you can think about if you want to master this spin. So I'm sharing my secrets. Okay, run with it. Good luck on your crossfoot spins and bye for now. Did you know that you can invite me to come to your club to offer one of my seminars? I tailor my seminars to the level of ability of your skaters and I can even do seminars uh, for groups of skaters of many different levels at the same time. I have a lot of experience offering my very inspiring seminars and uh, I share my knowledge and passion of figure skating or even of hockey. I've given seminars for hockey uh, clubs to uh, help them develop their skating skills. So I let you know on the Moves News on, that I post on Sundays where I'm going to be. And so if I'm going to be near your area, like, then you can uh, organize, get in touch with me and organize to invite me to your club and it would be a great pleasure for me and a great pleasure for your skaters and coaches as well. So I hope I can come and see you in person. Yeah, so I can see you and not just you see me through a screen. Okay, see you see you in the near future. Bye.